In today's video, I'm going to answer uh, someone's request for a video. They were asking if um, I can talk about cravings and the illusion that uh, after you have a good amount of clean time, you think that you can have just one pill here or one bag of dope here and it won't uh, affect you and that your tolerance is really low to this stuff because you've been off for so long that uh, maybe you can dabble in it a little bit and then just come right off and go back to your normal life. Now, <clears throat> cravings. Uh, in my personal recovery, uh, I don't have cravings now. I mean, it's been over five years. But uh, I remember um, having a little under a year clean going into a Wawa convenience store in Jersey. And uh, I walked by this guy, and he had too much cologne on, but I smelt it, and it was the same exact cologne of somebody I used to run with and, and, and get pills with. And immediately, I got sweaty, clammed up, and uh, my heart started racing, and I freaked out. Okay, I wasn't going to go use or anything, but it brought me somewhere where I wasn't expecting to go instantaneously. Okay, so for a couple minutes I was vulnerable and freaked out. So I got, I hightailed out of the Wawa, didn't even buy anything, and just left and went went home. But uh, that was my, my first time dealing with an instant craving. Not so much a craving, but almost like a, a person, places, and things. It was, it was a trigger. That's, that's the word I was looking for, it was a trigger. And uh, I did the best thing I could was just go home. Um, and I talked about it with somebody on the phone. Uh, and they talked, told me what it was and why I felt the way I did and blah, blah, blah. So I learned from it. And um, over time, uh, your cravings for most people go away. Uh, the lifestyle, your lifestyle changes, okay? So this isn't really a part of your life anymore. And uh, as that happens, uh, you grow stronger with time, and uh, you don't really even think about it, all right? Um, if you stay around people that obviously still use this stuff, and it is part of your life, even though you're not using, some people consider that not even being clean, because you're constantly thinking about it, you're constantly around it, um, and it is still part of your life, okay? Even though you're not taking it in, it's still part of your life. So if that's the case, you got to get away from it, okay? You got to lose the friends that are using. I know it's hard to do that, but you got to get away. And I know people are going to tell me that's impossible. Everybody's using this stuff. The stuff's everywhere. I get it. Um, it's all around me, but it's not all around me. You know what I'm saying? I completely cut that stuff out of my life. You can too. Um, and uh, as far as the illusion of you being able to use... This is very real, okay? Uh, people, after they have a good amount of time of being clean, they don't stay vigilant in their recovery. So it's almost like their time using was a past life, all right? They don't even want to think about it. They're over it. It's like, you know what? I'm over that. I don't even have to work any of my steps, or even if you did steps or you didn't, whatever. What I'm saying is they just acted like it never happened. And in my experience with a lot of people is that when you act like this never happened and that you're uh, above and beyond it, it's almost like it, it'll catch up to you at one point and like knock you over, okay? So I'm not saying it's going to happen to everybody, but it does happen to frequently, frequently to a lot of people that act like it never happened. Their addiction was a past life and they've moved on and they don't even want to deal with it. So this whole idea and the illusion that you can have one pill you know, because you've been good for three years and it's like, you know what, it's, maybe I'll just have one pill this weekend and everything will be fine. You can't. I'm telling you straight up, you can't. If you were addicted to this stuff, you take one pill, it's over. Alright? Because that voice in your head pops up and it takes over your life. Alright? It'll tell you, you know what? Just take one more tomorrow, one more day. It's not a big deal, you know what I mean? You can do it one more day, and then we'll stop, okay? And next thing you know, it's a year later, you got no money, and you're scrounging all over the place, and you know how that goes. It snowballs before you can even 
get control of the situation. All right, we all know how that works. So the whole illusion that you can have one pill or whatever, you can't. Okay, um, I can't stress that enough. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many people have told me and come back to me and said, you know.